there are two ways to work with type in Illustrator. So we have our type tool and we can click and we can type. And I'm gonna select that type, make it a bit bigger. And I can just type on and on and on, and it will keep typing off the screen. And then if I want to keep it within the screen, then I need to actually click here and hit return and fix my spelling. And then I can move the type around like that. And if I wanna make it smaller, I can hold command shift or control shift. I'm in the selection tool and I can make it smaller or I can make it larger by holding command shift. If I forget to hold the shift, then I can make it look really, really bad. I just do not recommend letting go of the shift. I recommend keeping the type completely in proportion. And this allows me to make the type smaller or larger, um, however I need. Again, I can click a return wherever I need to and make the type longer or shorter. But then if I decide that I want this type to be longer, I've got to go back and delete those returns. And that's kind of time consuming. Okay. So that's what we can do if we just click with the type tool. If we take the type tool and we click and drag. And I'm just going to click so because I want all of this type. What I can do is now I can drag the text box smaller or larger. And it will conform to whatever size I make this box. Now, the one disadvantage here is that if I hold Command Shift, it does not, it keeps the box proportional, but it does not change the size of the type. So in order to change the size of the type in the situation where I click and drag a text box, then I'll need to select the type and manually change the point size over here. But it will continue to conform to that box. So that is the advantage of working with um, clicking and dragging a text box as opposed to just clicking with the text tool. And this is all uh, only in Illustrator. Um, I think the features may be pretty similar in Photoshop. Uh, I know you can click and type type and you can uh, drag a text box in uh, Photoshop as well and probably acts pretty much the same way. In InDesign, you will find that you can only click and drag a text box. Um, you cannot just click with the type tool and type in a line in InDesign.